Hello, everybody. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you a little extension on um, using markers. And this one is specifically for what's called automating clips to sequence. Uh, and usually this could be done if you're trying to edit things to music. And uh, this is really handy. I've used this a bunch. And it's a really cool kind of idea. I've got a timeline created here and I've grabbed some music. And this music I am uh, taking from incompetech.com, which is Kevin McLeod's uh, website with, with a free but royalty music. And uh, this one I'm using is Industrial Cinematic. A good little music segment here. Here and it's royalty free as long as you're not using it for commercial production and also do a little plug for them uh, you can purchase things for a very good price uh, for using them for commercial production if you're if you're doing them for actual commercial production very affordable music uh, enough of the plug there he didn't ask me to do that i did it because i've used lots of his music and i always give him credit so there you go and I've actually purchased some stuff from him as well. So here we go. Um, all right, so I've got some music down here. And I'm going to be using this is kind of a, a take off of the, the last episode that I did where I was showing you how to use markers. And this one, uh, we're going to, I've got this music laid down here. I'm going to uh, have my finger on the M key, which is a shortcut for marker. If I hit M, it adds a marker in my timeline here. I don't have my clip selected. I don't want them added to my clip. So I'm going to go to the beginning here. And what I'm going to do, uh, every time I hit M for a marker, that's going to be where it's going to place a new clip when we do what's called automate to sequence. But what I can do is play this and on the fly, I'm going to hit my M for my marker. I'm going to, because I want my first clip to start at the beginning of the timeline, I'm going to hit M while it's at the beginning. M right there. And it's got a marker right at the beginning. Now when I press play, what I'm going to be doing is I'm just kind of like on the beat. I'm just going to hit the M whenever I think there ought to be a switch, uh, a cut to a new a new clip here. So I'm going to play and just hit M, M, M and kind of try to do it through the beat here. Let me make this a little bigger here. Zoom up on it a bit here. And I'm going to press play. M, 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 M. I'm having so much fun. M, 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 M. There we go. Okay. So I was doing that to the beat there, kind of uh, not very good with like music and stuff, but you'll notice I've got all these markers here now, and these are kind of on the beat here. Every time I hit M, I try to hit it on the beat, so we can have the clips uh, editing to the to the beat here. So I'm going to kind of quickly look at these and see how many I've got, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I've got about 11 clips there. All right, I've got about 11, this will require about 11 cuts there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my footage, and I'm going to uh, actually put an endpoint on on where I want each one of these things to start. I'm not going to put an out point, just kind of an end point, because I want to leave the, the out point open. What this is going to do when we automate to the sequence is going to put the end point of the first clip, and it will play it until it gets right to here, and cut it off and make an out point for it uh, by itself. So I'm going to double click on my first clip here. I'm going to scroll through this and find a point where I want it to... Let's say I like the shot of that... I like this the shot of the flag there. I'm getting very political here by showing uh, the state capital of Utah. I'm going to put my I for endpoint right there. I'm going to go to my next clip and find a good endpoint for this one to start as well. This little whip pan that goes on right there. So I'm going to stop it right when that pan starts. Right there. Get back and put an endpoint right there. I'm going to go to the next clip. I'm going to do this for for 11 clips. So I'm going to put an endpoint on each one of these and then I will come back when I've got an endpoint on, on the first 11 clips here. All right, now I've gone through and I've put uh, endpoints on the first 11 clips here. I can go through and do it on all of them if I want to, but I've got them on the first 11 clips. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this first one here. I'm going to remember, let's see, through 93, I've got 83 through 93 here. I'm going to select that range of clips right there. So I've got all those selected. And now this little uh, icon down here, this automate to sequence item right there. Once you click this, what it's going to do is it's going to bring up a little dialog. I'm going to click on that little automate to sequence button and it's going to bring up this dialog and ask me how do I want to lay these to my timeline. Well, first of all, right now I'm just doing that to the music and I don't want the audio off these clips, so I'm going to tell it to ignore the audio. And on some of these, it's going to ask if you want to apply transitions, and you can just uncheck those if those are, are, on, are on. But I'm going to use my in points and out points. I have no out range, so it's going to use that in point to start these clips. I'm going to overwrite, because there's nothing on the, se on the sequence right now. So it's, you can just use the overwrite method. If you do insert, it'll shove the music over. So I'm just going to use the overwrite method. And I'm going to pull this down and make sure that this is at unnumbered markers here. Now, we'll use those markers in the timeline to put each clip on, onto the end point. And this is kind of interesting here. You've got selection order and sort order. I will show you the sort order option in a second, but right now I'm going to do selection order. It's got it from beginning to the end in that order right there. So, oh, and I forgot, actually, I do want it to ignore audio. So yes, I want that check marked. Oops. All right. So now I'm going to hit OK and boom, it places all those in order. And now let's kind of play this and see what we've got. So watch up here. It kind of, it will edit now to like the beat of the music that I set those markers on. There we 
we go. So a really cool little feature there that you can just kind of go through and hit those M and hit your M key on those little beat there and have like a really quick kind of edit done that a really flashy edit that looks like you did some kind of hardcore editing there. But hey, yeah, let's uh, let's show you the sort order now. I'm going to undo that. I'm going to go down to my little bin here and I'm going to switch this to icon view. I'm going to hit my tilde over this. And uh, right now I'm going to uh, go, go down on this little icon right here on this little um, plot menu here. And we're going to put this, make sure this is under, under user order. What that basically means is you can grab these and you can put them in different orders. If I didn't like how this one, if I want the clip here that's so you see the capital here and the capital there and I want those clips to kind of be apart. I can grab this and I can drag it over so there's a gray bar between these two clips, let go, and it just rearranged those. Same as here, I'm gonna go, let's see, let's, see, let's insert some city stuff before it goes away from the capital. So I'm gonna grab a city, put it there. So if I wanted to kind of alternate between the city, uh, downtown city, and then the, the skyline views here, I can go and grab uh, this one here that I had an endpoint on. And I'm now notice I've got these kind of alternating between uh, the the, the the skyline shots and the downtown shots as well. So now I can select those 11 clips. So now I can select the beginning one, hold down shift and select this one here. And now I've got these in my sort order here. These, is how, these are how I have sorted them myself. So now when I hit this automate to sequence, it'll bring this up and I'm gonna choose sort order. And oops, I gotta get that at my home spot right there. So I'm going to go back to my timeline, hit home, get it to the beginning. And now I'll hit this uh, automate to sequence and tell it to do sort order instead of the selection order there. The sort order is going to put them in the order that I have them sorted now. And I'm going to hit OK and it drops them in. Let's see if it worked. I'm going to go to the beginning and it should. I've got this kind of alternate uh, capital that goes city, capital, city, and so on. So watch this. Fancy. Slicker than snot. Anyway, uh, so that's kind of a cool little function there. If you're doing music videos or just doing a little montage of, uh, of, uh, of, of a bunch of video clips to some music, that is kind of a cool, quick way of doing maybe a little introduction or uh, kind of putting pictures, putting moving video and pictures uh, to a beat. Uh, if you have any questions, please post them, and thanks for watching.